Your friends or family might be saying it, or maybe you are. Might as well just try to get Omicron on purpose and get it over with. This variant is so contagious and millions of people, both unvaccinated and vaccinated, are getting it during the surge. Dr. Anthony Fauci said in a White House briefing yesterday, Omicron will infect just about everybody eventually. While research shows it's more mild than other coronavirus variants in most people, Yale's Akiko Iwasaki told Reuters we shouldn't underestimate the virus. Here are some reasons why. Doctors say it's not just a bad cold, especially if you're unvaccinated, so don't think of the disease that way. It can still knock you down for days, and with how widespread this virus is, it means more people will get seriously sick. Experts like Dr. Fauci say sooner or later, we'll all be exposed, but later is better because we'll have better targeted vaccines and medicines. Also, it's not all about you. You may get a mild case, but you could give it to someone who's at high risk for severe sickness, or you could pass it to children who are way less likely to be vaccinated or boosted. This next one is worrisome. The potential for long COVID and post viral problems. Earlier coronavirus variants sometimes led to lingering and often debilitating symptoms for months even if people didn't get that sick initially. Iwasaki says we still don't know the long-term effects of Omicron. There's no data yet on the percentage of people with Omicron who end up becoming long haulers. I have interviewed many long haulers, and I can tell you, you do not want to become one. One of the biggest reasons we've tried avoiding getting COVID throughout the past couple years, the impacts on our healthcare system. Columbia University professor David Ho told Reuters, for the most part, Omicron won't cause much damage in fully vaxxed and boosted people without underlying health issues. But our hospitals are overwhelmed with a record number of patients and a record number of staff members out with COVID. Healthcare systems all over the U.S. are postponing surgeries and treatments again and COVID treatments are in short supply. So the fewer sick people, the better. And we know this virus is so unpredictable. A Columbia University study says we don't know if mutations will slow down or if future variants will be completely resistant to antibodies. More infections give the virus more chances to mutate and there's no guarantee a new variant will be more mild. So big takeaway, don't mess with mother nature. If a teen in your